In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect homemade biscuit from scratch. Welcome to Sweet Admira. This can see here with Sweet Admira. Sweet Admira is where we provide our clients with custom-made cakes and desserts from scratch. If you're new here, welcome and consider subscribing to my channel. And do not forget to turn on the notification button so that you know when I put out any new content. So for this biscuit, what we want to achieve here is tender, buttery, flaky biscuit. And I'll show you how right now. So let's get started. Now I'll start by adding all of my dry ingredients together. All purpose flour, baking powder, salt and baking soda. And I'll whisk them together to evenly combine. Now what I want to do is to start adding my cold butter. As you can see, my butter was cut into chunks. Now what I'm doing is to coat the butter individually with the flour. As you can see, as I'm cutting the butter, I'm also cutting them into smaller chunks. I want to make sure that the butter remains in in uh, solid uh, chunks this is to enable you know when the butter when the butter melts in the oven as the biscuits have been baked when the butter melts in the oven it will you know give us this flakiness that we all um, are looking for in a biscuit now you can see that the butter is in smaller chunks coated with flour that is the way that i want them to be while baking you want to be gentle with your mixing as your dough comes together you want to transfer onto your work surface As always, make sure to check the description box below for all of the ingredients used and their measurements. Lightly flour your work surface. We are trying to avoid adding extra flour. This is to avoid in tough biscuits. Now what you see me doing is to create some folds. I'm going to create these folds up to four times. This is to enable our biscuits have this flakiness that we all desire in a biscuit. So just keep watching to see exactly what I am doing.
Now, depending on the size of the biscuit cutter you're using, that will determine how many biscuits you'll get. For mine, this is 2.5, two and a half inches in diameter round biscuit cutter. So it gave me eight. So if you use a um, uh, smaller cutter, it will give you more. If you use bigger cutter, it will give you less. So you have to bear that in mind. So right now, into the oven, the biscuit goes. So you want to brush the top of your warm biscuit with melted butter. Now, did you see all of those layers? These were those folds that we took our time to create. This gives your biscuits that flakiness we are looking for. Okay, let's check out another one and see what the inside looks like. Can you see those layers? Can you see? Can you see? Okay, now let's see what the inside looks like. This is that biscuit is hot. That's why I'm being careful. You see the inside, it's soft. And the outer part is crisp. And the inside is soft. This biscuit tastes amazing. Look at it. Now this brings me to the end of the video make sure to like and give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see y'all on the other side thanks and god bless